Hello reader, this video is the amplification cards from pile 4 in the You Are the Reader January 23rd upload. The first card that needs some amplification is Bloodstone. Alright, I gotta hold these up close because look, these are so striking. I am the red of the earth mixed with dark and light and made strong, united, protected. We know we belong. As brothers and sisters with purpose of stone, together we stand, our victory known. Red falls and flows like seeds to the soil and greatness grows in the hearts of all. Bloodstone resonates with the root, heart, sacral, and solar plexus chakras. In medieval times, this stone symbolized the blood of Christ that spilled onto the green earth. It came to represent the most noble sacrifice. It has been used through the ages to heal wounds and illnesses associated with blood and was sometimes ground to a powder and applied in a poultice to stop hemorrhage. Bloodstone is also used for protection against emotional and physical bullying. Bloodstone brings strength and confidence to new and unfamiliar circumstances. Soldiers have worn it as an amulet to protect against injuries. It is also thought to provide guidance to those who are lost. This gem is associated with the mother goddess. It can ease friction when there are misunderstandings between mother and child. It also assists with pregnancy, childbirth, and hormonal balance. The divinatory meaning, a moment of vulnerability is revealing. A trust is restored through weakness. Swift, confident action on a plea for help contains a situation. Don't overthink. There is always risk, but you've got this. Your affirmations. My wounds are healed. I am protected against injury. I am willing to make sacrifices. My emotions are balanced. Your next card is Miracles. Have faith that your miracle is on its way. Your prayers have been answered. Surrender the how. Your prayers have been received and a miraculous outcome is already in motion. The unicorns invite you to relax and have fun while you wait for your blessing to take physical form. They remind you that you are the miracle you seek and everything you desire is already within you and one with you. There is no desire too big or too wonderful for you to co-create with the universe. And because the divine operates outside of time, anything can happen in an instant when you let it. Make space for miracles by releasing the belief that anyone or anything in the physical world is the source of the good in your life. Instead, place your full focus on the divine as your infinite unwavering unlimited source and let the joy and gratitude of that truth open gateways of abundance the unicorns also remind you that the miracle you are asking for may not come in the form you expect it to the answer to your prayers may come in a series of stepping stones and some may not immediately make sense or seem related to your request stay open to your guidance Follow your intuition, take aligned action, and surrender your expectations of what, how, and when your miracle will arrive. Let the divine handle the details and demonstrate to you that quote-unquote impossible can actually be easy when you surrender, step aside, and trust the magic of the universe. Your color is aqua. Experience peace and calm. Aqua creates a state of serenity, tranquility, and peace 
by soothing your mind and calming your nerves. It is a great color to work with in meditation when you would like to experience inner stillness. It is also a color of patience, faith, acceptance, and coolness. Aqua dissolves your fears to increase your confidence and belief in yourself. Calm your nervous system and soothe your mind by immersing yourself with aqua rays of light. Or, looking at the picture, it seems like if you can find a pool with aqua water, it might feel nice to dive in. Let it cleanse whatever you need cleansed from your energy. All right, the next card is Seek Seclusion. Oh my God, I just instantly react to this card because I've been in seclusion for so long and I can't seem to get the hell out. <laughs> All right. Find a place that feels like an isolated sanctuary. You need some seclusion away from the hustle and bustle of your day-to-day -day routine. Your routine may have become so busy that you have no time for regrouping. This card is urging you to take a much-needed break. You would benefit from being in a place where you can leave your daily stress at the door. You can fashion your own haven in simple ways. Bring fresh flowers into your space. Decorate an area with gifts that have a special meaning to you or photos of beloved family members and friends. If possible, place a small water feature in your space as the sound of moving water can be soothing. Make your haven comfortable with cushions and comfy chairs. Add crystals, essential oils, candles, or anything else that appeals to you. There is much to be gained from spending time in seclusion. Create a personal sanctuary where you can stretch out, breathe, read a book, meditate, listen to music, or anything else you desire. Without interruption is tricky for some people, especially when you have kids. Well, sometimes the partner is just as much a kid as far as when they want you, they want you. So what I did years ago, I painted a little sign and I would put it at the top of the stairs saying, what did I say? I didn't say meditating in thought, I think is what I wrote. It really doesn't matter. But if you put something up to kind of stop them in their tracks when you need time in your sanctuary uninterrupted, they'll start to get the message. You know, of course, they'll probably still ignore it the first couple of times, but you know, we have to back up our boundaries. So you may have to get a little testy. All right, and the last card is from Alice the Wonderland, and it is. Who in the world are you? Getting to know the new you. The quote from Alice. Who in the world am I? Ah, that's the great puzzle. When you receive this card, you are being asked to rediscover yourself through the asking of that all-important question, Who am I? As Alice so wisely says, that's the great puzzle. Some people go through life being who they think they are, who others say they are, or who they think they ought to be when who they truly are is submerged beneath conformity, habit, stereotypes, cultural expectations, and other people's opinions. This card is asking you to ask this question and to assume just for a moment that you may not know just who you are. This is your invitation to go beneath the roles and the assumptions Allow your true self to slowly ascend and emerge from beneath the stultifying feedback of the world and to be once again. When this card comes to you, it is a wonderful opportunity to live from the heart of yourself once more, to question all you think you are and to find out who you are right now. You may wish to meditate on this question or to find out who you are in new places with new people. You may like to start over, to incarnate in a way. You may wish to travel, undergo some therapy, journal, 
or have heartfelt conversations about how we become who we are at any given moment. Treat this like a wonderful adventure and an opportunity to forget what you think you know. Rather than going along with beliefs, aim to truly see yourself. Puzzle out, once again, a rebirth into your new self. And that's it for your cards, Pile 4. would love to hear your comments about whether the cards resonated, matched your interpretation that you had come up with. Hey, just a little BS in the comments I'd be happy with. All right, guys. See you at the next one. Take care.